Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be decluttering a lot of spaces in my house as well as making a really cool collage in my living room and just tackling some other small areas in my house as well. I hope that you guys enjoy this video as I bring you all along with me. So I am starting out this video by doing the collage in my living room and I am so excited about this you guys. It came out so beautiful and I am just obsessed with it. So I did want to start out by saying that today's video is sponsored by Mixed Tiles. So a big thank you to Mixed Tiles for allowing me to work with them to bring you guys this amazing and easy way to make a collage in your home. Mixed Tiles is a website or app where you guys can order pictures to be sent directly to your home and what I love about mixed tiles is that it includes both the frame and the picture for only $11 each picture includes an adhesive strip on the back of the frame and each frame is super lightweight so you don't have to worry about them breaking or anything like that and they just stick right onto the wall and you can also peel them off without damaging the walls which I will show you guys later in this clip I do that quite a few times when I'm making this collage so Ordering mixed tiles is extremely easy. I just downloaded the app on my phone. I went right on and I already knew that I wanted to do black and white pictures. So I just made sure that all of the pictures that I wanted to use were in black and white and I had saved them right onto my phone. You can go in and pick any pictures from your camera roll, but you can also link your social pages like Facebook and Instagram and pull pictures right from those as well. They will have your pictures out to you within a week. It is free shipping, so you don't have to worry about that as well and I feel like overall this is just a really great deal but I was shocked when I opened them they are so beautiful such high quality photos so moving into the collage portion you are just gonna see me kind of figuring out how I want to use my mixed tiles on my wall you're gonna see me move things around a lot and actually I ended up changing the layout of all of my pictures when I was putting them up on the wall and you guys will see that later on. The way that I decided to do my collage with mixed tiles is I measured the width of my layout that was on the floor and I made a mark on each side so I kind of knew where to put the end pictures on the wall and I kind of worked with that. I also measured the distance between the end picture and the family sign and I put the family sign on first and I kind of worked around it. So as I was saying earlier, Mixed Tiles has an adhesive strip on the back and you just peel the piece of paper off and then you can stick them right on the wall and they stick really really well I mean those things are not coming off the wall unless you really knock them but they do come off gently so when you do peel them off the wall they will not take any paint off and you guys will see me do this a few times when I am putting my collage on the wall the pictures weren't really spaced right when I had them on the floor they didn't really go on the wall as well so you guys will just see me popping them off and moving them around and mixed tiles just made this collage experience a breeze for me if you guys are interested in mixed tiles i will leave all of their information in the description box below they are seriously such an amazing company they've been really sweet through this entire process and i just know that you guys are gonna love these pictures and their frames i just feel like it's such a high quality product Once I got all of the pictures up on the wall, I could finally add my mirror and the arrow and I just used like little nails to hang them up on there and 
I just love the way this collage came out. It is so beautiful. The pictures are gorgeous and the whole thing just looks so great in this room and I feel like it really makes our house look more like a home. Everybody so moving on into the rest of the video, this is my to-do list that I had originally wrote but I do not get to everything on this list as you guys soon will find out. So I am gonna be starting out decluttering my craft cabinet. If you guys have been around here for some time, you guys know this thing gets cluttered like a mother super quickly. I feel like I always have to declutter this cabinet, but it just really needed to be done. So you're just gonna see me decluttering the Play-Doh. There was a bunch of lids missing and just dried up Play-Doh all over the bottom of this thing and just, I needed to throw out a good bit of it. And then I'm just gonna be going through some of the art supplies as well, the coloring supplies and all of that stuff. So you will see me throw out a good bit in here and make it look nice and tidy. And you guys will see my kids quite a bit in this video. This is real life for me. I am a stay at home mom. I have my two toddlers with me 24 seven and they are always a part of my cleaning shenanigans and they love it. Moving into what I call our medicine cabinet, just because this first row is just all of our medications and vitamins and that kind of stuff, I really needed to declutter this or at least organize it. It was a hot mess. We have all been sick, so like medicines were just thrown in there and there was just stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna start out by taking everything out and then I'm just gonna go through and toss anything that might be expired or throw away like old syringes or just random stuff that we had in here that we weren't using anymore like bulb syringes and the nose Frida and those kinds of things that we had when our kids were infants that just didn't need to be around anymore. Once I'm done decluttering, I'm just gonna place everything back in order. And then these little random things right here are just stuff that I'm keeping, but I'm gonna be putting up in our master bathroom. Once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna quickly organize our mugs. I didn't like the way they looked in there and it was just all cluttered, so I'm just gonna fix that really fast. Moving on into the laundry room. Our laundry room cabinets weren't really messy, but I did just need to declutter them a little bit. So I'm just gonna go through and get some of this random stuff in here out of there. And then I had like empty containers of detergent and scent boosters and like random stuff. It was all empty and just sitting in there. So you will see me tossing those things as well. Moving on, I am gonna be cleaning my oven. And later on, I totally regretted this decision. <laughs> I hate cleaning the oven. I just feel like when I go to clean it, it doesn't actually really get cleaned. And this 
product that I was using, I wasn't really impressed with it. If you guys have any recommendations for me on how you clean your oven, definitely let me know. I would rather not use chemicals if I don't absolutely have to. So if you guys have a method with using like vinegar or baking soda or something of that sort, please let me know in the comment section. Moving out into our garage, I am gonna be decluttering our shoes. We had a lot of summer shoes out here and then the kids had shoes that didn't really fit them anymore. So you're just gonna see me organizing the space and making it look nice and neat because this is where we come in and out of the house and I hate when it's a mess. guys that is going to be it for this declutter and clean with me i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some motivation to get some stuff done around your house as always thank you guys so much for watching my videos and i will see you all in my next one